to Pioneer viewers. We're here with the latest developments on Russia-Ukraine war. As you know, since the beginning of the war, our agenda has been the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, and the war continues in its all reality and intensity. The parties continue to make political moves while sharing their trump cards on the front line. The policies of the Kiev administration against Russia's invasion attempt shows that it has significant influence in international politics. While the Moscow administration plans to carry out the invasion in a short time, it is surprised with the war that has been going on for a long time. Periods of the war bring many difficulties for states, and the social problems brought about the war cause the people to become relentless. Another problem arises in the economic sphere. While the war expenditures put the economy on the problematic path, on the other hand, replacing the weapons lost in the war becomes even more costly. Russia's invasion attempt against Ukraine has been going on for more than two years, and the Ukrainian authorities have managed to overcome many difficulties in this invasion attempt that has turned into a war. Kiev authorities have changed the course of the war by strengthening their army and capabilities day by day. The Russian army, on the other hand, had difficulties in fighting in the Ukrainian army and the Ukrainian army's effective offensive operations often caught the Russian army unprepared. The lack of military personnel in the Russian army was also a major disadvantage. As a result of this process, the Russian army suffered serious losses throughout the war. In addition to the loss of many soldiers, costly losses such as tanks, armored vehicles, artillery systems, and defense systems were also quite high. In recent days, there has been another incredible event. The newest artillery systems of the Russian army were destroyed as a result of the effective attack of the Ukrainian army. The artillery systems, which were newly included in the Russian army's inventory, were destroyed by a counterattack operation, and the images of those moments were watched by thousands of people on social media in a short time. Now if you're ready, let's examine the latest developments together. As the pioneer, we continue to report on Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all of your comments on our videos, so please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments with us. Let's start if you are ready, the pioneer reports. Recently, images posted on social media by accounts linked by the Ukrainian army shows the Russian army's latest combat assist. And while the Russian army suffered costly losses at many points, the losses in the last attack were distinctive. The Russian artillery systems destroyed by the successful operations of the Ukrainian army were the newest systems of Russia. Ukrainian accounts shared one-minute clip of the weapons which Russia added to its arsenal in October 2023 and entered the agenda with the title S. 240 Flux, a weapon belonging to the newest Russian artillery systems, was destroyed. The 240 Flux is a Russian wheeled self propelled 120mm motor system that combines the capabilities to be used as a Witzer and it's designed to carry out firing missions against fixed and moving targets by the motor shells and high precision projectiles. Information from local sources says that the artillery systems was destroyed near the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut, which saw some fiercest fightings of the war. And the Ukrainian military regularly releases videos showing its forces destroying Russian equipment. Earlier videos of the Ukrainian army's attacks on the Russian army and the Russian army's losses have been a source of morale for the Ukrainian supporters. In recent days, the Ukrainian army has been stepping up its attacks and destroying strategic targets belonging to the Russian army. Last day, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry announced that the targeting of the Russia's RBU-6000 is merged to a Soviet-era anti-submarine rocket launcher of 213mm caliber. It is subsequently released footage showing the system being hit, causing an explosion and large plums of smoke. Teamwork of the Ministry of Defense, the 45th Artillery Brigade, and the 80th Air Assault Brigade RBU-6000 Smirch II rocket launcher destroyed. After the congratulating the troops who carried out the operation, it is important that the same coordination takes place in the other regions. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, which publishes estimates of the Russia's troops and equipment's losses, said in update the other day 
that Moscow had lost 28 artillery systems, 8 tanks, 27 armored personnel carriers, 50 vehicles and fuel tanks, 6 anti-aircraft combat systems and fire cruise missiles in a single day in the ongoing war. At the same time, the Russian military's combat losses continue to mount. The economic toll is also reaching very high levels. While the embargo against Russia has driven the Russian economy into recession, the recent attacks in Ukraine have pushed Russia further into a corner targeting Russian oil facilities. The Ukrainian army continues its successful attacks. As a result of the Ukrainian army's attacks, the Russian oil industry has suffered heavy wounds. Russia, whose oil revenues has fallen to very low levels, will do remains to be seen and the Ukrainian military intelligence is working intensively in trying to obtain information flow from the Russian army. Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Alexander Sensky issued an important warning in interview. He issued the warning in response to response to the Moscow's preparing its forces to seize Ukraine's second largest city located close to the Russian border. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky warned this week of an impending Russian offensive that could begin in late May or June. We cannot ignore any information about the enemy's preparations for the offensive's actions, so we're taking all measures to respond appropriately to such a possible, Sersky said. The army chief said the key forces are preparing to strengthen our territories and positions, build a comprehensive barrier system and a plan to actions of our troops in the events of such an attack. The Ukrainian army looks ready and planned in all aspects. The Russian army, on the other hand, focuses on immediate developments rather than plans. The war continues to witness fierce clashes on the front line. New developments are expected in the coming days. Improving seasonal conditions will make the battlefields even more active. So, how do you interpret the Russian army's loss of its newest artillery systems? And do you think the Ukrainian army is successful in strategic offensives? What do you think was the biggest loss during the war? And what do you think about the future of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine? As you know, we care about your opinion a lot, so please share it with us.